when you didn't use it. That's right. Friday Night Flies. We're going to save that conversation for this. Okay. okay. And what were we talking about? Rhea. Rhea. Yeah. Rhea. Am I, are we, we're live. We're live. Okay, right yeah. Now. We were talking about Rhea. I just got some right stuff now. today, and I, I was planning on tying a tube fly, but because there's an urgent need to go fishing again tonight, where... <laughs> Look, fishing's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to tie a nymph instead. Um, that being said, we were talking about Rhea and what it's all about. It's sure. it's like marabou. Um, really, really, it really, really flows nicely in the water, but it also it's a lot thinner, so you can get a lot more on the on the fly without the ball. And we were talking as to have you ever used Rhea, and we thought it was like some contagious disease of some sort. No, it's not a contagious. But disease. But anyhow, tonight, okay. what are we tying? We're using tonight. We're gonna to, we're gonna tie cassette. We're using cassette tape again, and tonight we're using. Oh, we're back to the new order and substance. That. <laughs> <laughs> so man, you gotta be old to know what that's all about. Yeah, Come on, yeah, man. yeah. That's that's a long time you're ago. Like, you're you're holding that up, and people were like, "What the hell is that? Like an N64 game or something?" What, yeah. What the... Anyhow, so, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna tie. We're tying. We're using cassette tape again. It's just a, a simple nymph, uh, lead weight, a little bit of ice dub, and a little bit of uh, vinyl ribbon. Dude. Small, small, small. I think it's uh that vinyl ribbon. It's is... midge vinyl ribbon. So I think that's what got my attention on that one. Yeah, fly. and it's and it's also fluorescent too. So that's nice. Okay, I want to take it down to the fly. Let's okay. see the pattern you're using. Okay, let's go. Right here. Yeah, but we're there. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we're there. One second, just to slide here. On that. So what we got here is we got a uh, bead hat. This is a size six hook. This is definitely bigger than I would probably use in most situations. It's a little bit better for tying on the yeah on yeah. on the camera, and it's just it has a little bit more presence. I would use it anywhere from size. This is size six. I'd say from six to I, size I fourteen. Um, I don't tie. I don't really fish anything smaller than a fourteen. In terms of nymphs, on average, so <laughs> yeah. probably my, my standard size would be like size ten. Right. Would be what I would fish the most. That can still um, be. But we have yeah, size six here. Um, it's just a little bit of ice dub olive. Um, we got our collar with uh, some ultra thread in red, and our vinyl rib, which is chartreuse, in midge size, so really tiny. Lead foil, a beat up piece of, of uh, pheasant tail, and uh, size 6 Tiemco uh, 2457s is the style of the hook. And then we got, a, oh, we got our bead. bead. Okay, so. Let's get that out of there. We got no Brad right now. Scott, are you manning things right now? Are we all good or what? Yeah, you're good. Can I start tying? You can definitely start tying. I'm going to start tying that, okay? It would be appreciated. Okay. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put on our lead. And I'm using lead foil. I already got a bead out head on there, so it's going to be fairly, fairly heavy to start already. It's a heavy hook. It's a two times wide, two times short. I want to start your wire, just sort of. I'm going to build most of the taper of my body with the lead, and I'm just going to cover it with the cassette tape. Run my my uh, vinyl rib up there, and then uh, I might, if I am feeling energetic, I might even UV resin the whole body just to make sure the vinyl rib stays in place. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. We might not do that. It's possible, and it, it's only going to make your fly stronger. I don't seem to hang on to flies for very long. Once I start fishing them, you want to start the next piece of lead, just up. I don't know, maybe two wraps from the start from where you originally started from, and that is so that you're building your taper. So we sort of have we sort of have our a semi tapered body there now already. And then we're gonna tie in and when I tie in lead I usually
Okay, I'm going to start from that. I'm visually challenged, eh, Kara? So I have to be really, I either have to be really close or I have to wear double glasses. Uh, so I can wear, I can go like this and I can see fine. Well, but with my glasses, I can't, I can't see. So just in case you're wondering, because you're sitting there going, oh. No, no. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to not wrap around my hook. And I'm right now I'm just. Me, Kara, so I have to be really, I either have to be really close. I don't know what I did here. I have here, to wear Scotty. double glasses. I'm trying to find our. So, uh, I can wear angle like this, and I can see fine. But I, with my glasses, I can't. I can't see. So no, that's us. In case you're wondering, uh -huh. like, oh. okay. So yeah, I'm gonna not. So we have. Are we still there on? We go. Oh yeah, you're still on. Okay, there we go. We just had. We just re-listened to what I just said to everybody. We're just or uh, reconfirming. Okay, so. Because I'm trying to join live and put in smart ass comments on my phone. Oh, who doesn't want to put smart ass comments on? Yeah, it's not working. No? No. So we're going to just tie our rib in, give it a couple wraps. Uh, cut that off and tuck that in behind. And now we're going to tie in our cassette tape. The nice part about cassette tape is it's reasonably cheap. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll ask my question live. <laughs> until we start, until, until we start so ripping apart cassette better, tapes and, ACDC, and packaging it. What works better, ACDC or uh, Jane Fonda's Workout to the Classics as uh, cassette tape? Um, you know, the, the only difference I've noticed is that, that black seems to work the best. The clear, <laughs> the clear tapes don't I seem to. Laughter's from the yeah, I hear you. That's from the bathroom. You hear anybody screaming? That's Brad from the bathroom. I don't know what he's doing in there, but something's going on. Okay, so we're just gonna number one or number two. <laughs> we're going to wrap in the cassette tape. And uh, and because this is a sky hook, I'm going to bring it back past the the back of the hook, probably to just maybe a couple more wraps. It's a fair. There's there's no material going on other than the. Where's all our viewers tonight? That's what I would like to know. Where's our viewers? Where did you come up with using old cassette tape? The guy I met on the Thompson. Because oh. it's brilliant. Yeah. We've done lots of fights with it now. Up there yeah, on the board, we have uh, Scotty has a bunch of nymphs with it, as well as we did a damsel with the brown cassette oh, tape. Yeah. yeah. As the yeah, uh, shell back. Because you can fold it yeah. and you can you can make you use it to make ribbing also, right? Well, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's just hard to find them now. Yeah. Uh, so we're just wrapping up the, black the cassette stuff. tape, I and I wrap it all tape. the way up on the body. It just hard to find the back. Yeah. There's no bulk to it at all. It makes everything nice and solid. Keeps it all the same. The black's the uh, we we found out black is the uh, recordable tapes. Oh, yeah. And these are the ones that you were able to record on. Oh, is that it? Well, that's why they're black, because they're recordable. Yeah. Oh, okay. That makes sense. And the browns are the ones you buy a piece to buy from the store. Okay. okay. So we'll, then we're going to bring our thread back to where we want our midge body to end. I mean, and also you could wrap the midge body all the way up. It's not going to hurt any, that's for sure. Do one wrap around the bottom, and hopefully this is the only thing is sometimes this, everything wants to slide a little bit. But that's why you got the ribbon. Yeah, I know. Well, that's what I mean. The the ribbon wants to slide because the cassette tape cassette tape is a little bit slick Slip. too. Yeah. So just ribbing it up. I would say probably how many have I done so far? One, two, three, four, five. I'm probably going to do six. Make them a little bit bigger as I go on up. And I'll tie it off there.
cut that rib off and bring it back to the beginning. Now this is the point at which if you were going to UV dub or UV uh, resin. resonant, you could. Should we do it or not? Want to do it? Let's try. Yeah, go for it. Go yeah, it'll only take a second. Oh, that's a heck of a lot because <laughs> I'm not looking to get to lose my to lose my ribbing. I want to keep the the ribbing there. All I want all I'm trying to do is just secure it. So that segmentation still shows up. Yeah. Sure. We'll go with that. <laughs> And there you go. See, there's a UV torch on it right now. That that oh, wow, look at that. ribbing is UV. Shows up really nicely under the UV <laughs> light. The oh, 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 I, I just got parts of the question there. Okay, well that part's done. Like I said, you don't have to do that. It just make things. It just makes things a little bit stronger. Last a little bit longer. Thanks. You ever eaten this? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put my legs on now. Yeah, it's just can. Try. And it's no big deal. If I would have forgot my legs, I wouldn't have been overly upset because I'm going to catch fish sure. without the legs. You don't like it? I want my legs to just start right. Go beyond the edge of the uh, the, the point of the hook. This matter if it's hook. moose or beef or I don't know what kind of I just it's the same. That's moose though? Mm -hmm. Moose corn. pepperoni. Say corn. corn. The UV resin isn't quite cured yet and it's still tacky, so I'm just gonna Hit it again. Can you like move for you use it for your wings again? I've had oh, that's it. We get rid of these. And you could, I mean, if you wanted to leave, you could leave those long, a little bit long, and get a little bit of mm. a little hack on top there. When you eat, you're cheering me. Which one? What's that? You don't do anything to it. You don't just take a raw moose and stuff them in a can. That's it. Really? Yeah. It's not like cooked or nothing. It cooks itself. You pressure can. You never. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're just forming a, a nice little collar here. It's kind of like. Sashimi. And I want it to be loose. I'll, I'll pick it out afterwards. Kind of like braised moose. Or I don't want it to be loose, but it's not a big deal. It, not it's not all going to stay. Yeah, it's really tender. It's like 100 and something degrees. And, oh, uh, under pressure, too. Yeah. Steam. We'll do a whip finish. That's a deadly powder for the weekend, Scotty. And then I'm, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to trade threads. There's lots of ways you could have done that. I could have done that. I could have had this thread. I could have used red thread. I, I prefer to use the black thread. This thread's got a nice finish on it, this ultra thread. So for doing that, I'm just going to do a little red collar on it. That's the one we like breaking, too. No. Yeah, it doesn't last. That's the thing. It, it just That's why we don't tie the whole fly with it. So we get to watch that re-thread about four times. So we're just nice gonna... little hot spot. Yeah. An extra little touch, man. Looks great. Looks buggy. Okay, we'll cut that. And we'll use our handy dandy little tool. We'll fish in the line tonight. Driven over the ride a few times. Mm -hmm. Full of fish right now. 
fly fishing or am I spin casting? There you go. It's done. Did you just I'm polish that? I'm What's that? Did you just polish that? No, all I did is I'm taking the the Velcro. It's a it's Velcro. And it just spreads the dubbing out of it. Pulls the dubbing out. Tucks it a little yeah. out of gear. I mean, you can be real fussy, move your wings around, do all sorts of things. I mean, that's it. Here's the one without the UV resin. I kind of like the one without the UV resin. It sort of stands out a little bit better, I think. What do you think? Roll the uh, roll of ice. Let's have a look at the underbelly and stuff. Yeah, you just see the segmentation a little bit more on your original, but that's going to be more durable. Oh, you did UV on the body. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks better without the UV. From you think so? What I see, yeah. You kind of need that segmentation a bit on the mix that I found. Well, I lost it on the floor. Oh. All right, well, come back up to the... Uh, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, well, we just lost one out of the vice. That... We're going upstairs. Okay. Yeah, I'll take you outside here. Fine. See there you go. See okay, well, there you go. Finding air flies. Scott is tying up a recipe for the weekend. Um, hopefully you get out there and, and tie some and uh, get some fishing in this weekend. It's, it looks like we got a, a beautiful weekend in uh, in Whistler and Pemberton. It's gonna be bomber. It's gonna be bomber. It's gonna be nice. Fish are, fish are gonna be going crazy this weekend. Um, it's the World Ski and Snowboard Festival in Whistler. There's gonna be lots going on. There's gonna be a lot of people around. It's gonna be it's gonna be a fun weekend. The, the village must be just rocking. Yeah, the village was like sta was starting to get busy as I left today for sure. Tent city. Yeah. Yeah. Ten there. City was starting to happen. All that yeah. stuff starting to happen. It hasn't quite happened yet. People were starting to show up, and everybody's in their shorts and flip flops already. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, yeah. Summer, yeah, summer started. Are we gonna so, do? Uh, uh, let's do your Birkenhead uh, stone next. You want to do the stone? And let's then? go. Let's do it next. next okay. Week. Oh yeah, yeah. We got enough fun. Boulder's gonna come up with one more fly for yeah, uh, Friday Night Fly as well. We'll do it next week. Thanks for fishing. being here today and. You know, for anybody that watches, like live viewing is the way to go, right? It's it's a lot more fun. You get uh, the the clarity when when you view live is a lot better, I believe, right? 100%. And uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's a lot more fun. That way, you, if you want, you can participate. If you want to, you have a question for us. Like we love questions. This is our favorite thing. We love questions. Those people that are in the G plus. What do you just? Huh? Oh, he's asking me. No, questions. we have a viewer. Okay. So well, just... Friday Night Flies, Scotty Holmes, signing off. <laughs> Recipes for the weekend. Boulder will be back in a minute. And then uh, Friday Night Flies. Friday Night Flies, <laughs> next week, buddy. Next week. See I'll be there, week. and I'll tie a tube fly, maybe. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> We're going to get you in. Are we there? Are we gone? Or what are we doing? Sure. Are still yeah, we'll just keep you going for a while. You're looking good. Uh, <laughs> yeah. right.